Hey everybody, welcome back to Barbecue by Biggs. I'm Aaron and today we're making pineapple teriyaki brats. That's right, if you wanna see how these things turn out, come along with us, stay tuned. All right, we got our pork butts out of the freezer. Remember, it, they don't have to be thawed all the way. These are still a little bit frozen. And we'll get them out and get them cut up. And then we're gonna go ahead and put them back in the freezer until we're ready to get them ground. That way they are as cold as possible. The thing about pork butt when you do grind it is if that fat gets a little bit warm, you'll end up with a bunch of smeared fat. So let me get in here and show you how we're gonna cut this up. So the size of the chunks will definitely be determined by your grinder size. I use a meet your maker one horsepower and the throat size is a little bit bigger so we can go with some larger chunks. If you have a smaller grinder, just make sure that you use chunks that are appropriate for your grinder. Mine will go through and, and grind that up, I mean, really, really, really fast. So that's what we're gonna do with ours. So I got two pork butts here that we're gonna get cut up and I'll bring you back as soon as we get that done. All right, we got it all cubed up, ready to grind. We, I already got part of it out in the freezer. We're gonna put the rest of this out in the freezer for about 30 to 45 minutes to get it chilled down again. If you can see on some of this, some of this fat is getting a little bit greasy. We wanna make sure that we don't have that going through our grinder because it'll make a mess. So I'm gonna go out in the freezer for about 30 to 45 minutes. Then we'll bring you guys back in for the grind. All right, these pineapple teriyaki brats from PSC come in a, with a seasoning bag that'll do 25 pounds. And it also comes with granulated pineapple that also does 25 pounds. So we're gonna have to measure this out. We're only doing 15 pounds on this run. So we'll get this measured out and get it ready to go in. We're also gonna bring that meat in and get it ground up. We got that pork out of the freezer. We're ready to grind it up. I tell you what, if you look at the front of this on this horn, you see some condensation and some some frost. We put this in the freezer about two hours ago. We're gonna make sure that, that pork stays nice and cold. If not, it starts to smear and your, your grind is just not as good. So we'll get this pork into this grinder, get it ground up, and we'll bring you guys back when we're done. Just put a little bit in here first and get it started. This thing just tears through whatever you put in it. We are grinding this twice. So the first time be through the big plate, second time through the small plate. In between those, we're gonna stick it in the freezer again just to make sure it stays cold. All right, we'll bring y'all back when we're done. All right, now that we got it all ground up, go back into the tub here. We had it out in the freezer for a little bit, keeping it cold. So the mix that we're using today is a PS seasoning, pineapple teriyaki seasoning, it treats 25 pounds, so we measured it out. To, we took the total weight, we divided it out, and we got 15 pounds, so measured it out in grams. It's so a 358B is the, is the seasoning kit, and it also comes with granulated pineapple that we've also weighed out to 15 pounds worth, so we'll have some more to do later on, because we're only doing 15 pounds today. So we took a, about a cup and a half of water, we mixed it with the seasoning, we're gonna go in on top of that. So we know it's gonna take about two, two and a half cups of water to get it where we need to be. So I diluted the, the seasoning with the water, about a cup and a half. We'll mix this together and if we need a little bit more water, we'll add it. And then we'll add the pineapple and fold it in after we get this mixed up real well. So we'll get this mixed up. So just take it and you'll mix it for about four or five minutes or so. Making sure that it's all incorporated real good. Just wanna fold it on top of one another, press down, get you a good mix. So this is gonna take us a few minutes. We'll get this mixed up and we'll bring you right back. So we about got it here. What you're looking for, that protein extraction that you need is where it gets really, really, really sticky. Still good and wet, but real sticky. You wanna take a, a piece of that, put it to your palm there, hold it upside down. See how it sticks on your hand? That means you, you're pretty much there. So now that we got it mixed up and we got it where we want it, we got the protein extraction that we wanted, we're gonna go ahead and fold in the uh, pineapple. When we fold in the pineapple, it's a dry ingredient, so it might dry this out just a little bit, may have to add just a little bit of water. I've only added two cups total so far, so uh, we'll get that added in. And again, we measured this out for the amount of 
meat that we have here. We'll put half on this side, flip some over. All right, we'll get this pineapple good and fold it in. Just like a cake, just fold it in. If you have some bigger spots that don't have a whole lot in it, push that over to the side. And fold that on top of each other. All right, now that we got that all good and incorporated, we'll check our moisture and our protein extraction is still good. Still sticks. So we'll take one of these little patties, we'll fry it up, we'll taste it, make sure there's nothing we want to add to it. And uh, we'll bring you guys back for that. All right, we took a piece of that, we fried it up in a pan, and I tell you, mm, let's give it a taste. You can definitely taste the teriyaki and those little pieces of pineapple, mm, give it a little bit of crunch. Man, that is delicious. I don't think it needs anything, so we're gonna case this up. Mm. Actually, after eating this, and I can't quit eating it, we're not gonna case it all up. We're gonna leave some of it in bulk, because I tell you, a smash burger like that, mm, that's gonna be something. But we'll case most of it up, and we'll get to it. So the casings that we're using, we went ahead and we rinsed them. We soaked them in water for about 30 minutes, changed the water out, soaked them for about another 40 minutes, now they're ready to go. We're using a five pound stuffer from Meet Your Maker. We also have the large one, but the large one is a little bit more difficult to do by yourself. So we're gonna use the five. The only downfall of using the, the little one is that you have to load it a little bit more often. But if you're making sausage by yourself most of the time, the five pound stuffer, I tell you, it's worth the investment. If you're still doing it with your grinder and, and you want something that's a little bit inexpensive, but still does the job, this five pounder will do it. And I'll leave the links in the description below. When you load this, you wanna make sure that you don't have any air down in the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that meat and we're just gonna push it in that bottom down there to make sure that we don't have no air. And every bit that we put in there will do the same thing. That way we don't have a whole lot of air pockets in our sausages. So we'll get this loaded up and ready to stuff. All right, got her loaded up. So now we're gonna bring it out to the end here. See it coming out at the end? Right before it gets to the end, back it off. So what you're gonna do with your casings here, open it up on the end, put your finger and your thumb in there, and then just dip that water through. What you're trying to do is one, you wanna flush out the inside of that, and two, as you go down, it gets it all straightened out and also tells you if you got any holes on the way down. We'll pull that out. And you just take it, put it around the end, put a little water and lubricate it. Put that around your end and just pull it on. Once you get it all loaded on, you'll tie that end just like so, pull it back, push this forward. What you're trying to do is fill that casing up. You don't want it too loose and you don't want it too big. If you get it too big, you'll end up, as you start linking it out, you'll have some, some blowouts or you'll have some blowouts as you fill. So you're just adding a little bit of pressure just to keep just enough coming off of that thing that it fills it up, but it does not get too loose or too big. And when you get to the end, Gonna pull it off, back that handle off, and then just tie it off. All right, we got it all cased up. We're gonna link it now. So if you're gonna link it, you can look. We have it marked here. This is about six and a half inches. You can go eight. You can go have smaller brat links. You can have hot dog hot dog size. This seems to fit the brat buns pretty good. So that's what we use. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna measure it out. So this one's already tied. So we're gonna come over here right where that mark is. We're gonna squeeze that right there. Pull it again. We're gonna squeeze it right there at that other line. Squeeze it tight. And then you just take it, and then you just take it and spin it. And then you go to the next one. So the next one will be here, here, squeeze. Skip that. 
Come here, squeeze, just take it and spin it. Link it up. All right, we'll get all these linked up and then we'll bring it back when we're done. All right, we got them all linked up. Now it's ready to go into the refrigerator. We're gonna leave them in the refrigerator for a few hours just to allow them to dry out. Then we'll cut them apart and we'll get some cooked up. Bring it back then. All right, these have been in the fridge for about three hours. They dried out. We're gonna cut a few links off here. Go ahead and throw it on with something else we got going on out there. And we will make sure to bring you back and give you a taste test. See you in a minute. All right, so we cooked up one of those pineapple teriyaki brats. Look at that. Sure looks good. Let's get a taste of that. So we cooked it at about 300 degrees on the smoker for 20, 30 minutes until the internal temperature got where it needed to be. But let's give it a taste. Mmm. See if you can see it. See those pieces of pineapple in there? Mmm. It gives it a little bit of crunch. The snap of the outside is great. Look at that. Let's see if you can see it now. They're kind of clear, so. Mmm. I tell you, juicy is all get out, too. Mmm. If you want to give these a try, there's a link in the description down below. Use Barbecue by Biggs at checkout. Save yourself some money. See you guys on the next cook. Mm.